choose braid devotional 37 braid and the mash and idols if we were together having coffee and a conversation right now you would ask me if i had other gods in my life i would most likely look at you and had three heads you would be shocked confused and honestly kind of offended but the hard truth is that there are probably other gods or idols in disguise in our lives anyone or anything that takes place of God in our lives is an idol if it has a if it was my heart more than God does it's an idol in my life idols might be material items a belief a habit a job or career goal or a person anything that I go to before God to to God when I am in need of comfort love security rest joy protection or value is an idol in my life. With realization, I am convinced to see the other gods in my life. It's eye-opening. Sister, is a good, hard truth because God is greater than any false god or idol. Better than any other god, more than anything else could ever be in our lives. There is no God like our God, he is fulfills our every need and loves us in ways we can't even comprehend. And God calls us to love him first foremost to worship him alone. In order to do that, we must be brave to smash the idols. Lord, thank you for calling me yours. Thank you for being my God. Convict my heart and show me the idols in my life. Father, help me to see the other gods that I worship and give me the courage to smash them. Only you are worthy of all honor and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Exodus 20, verse 1 through 3. Then God spoke all these words, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the place of slavery. Do not have other gods besides me. Isaiah 44, verse 6 through 20. This is what the Lord, the King of Israel, its Redeemer, the Lord of Armies says, I am the first and I am the last. There is no God but me. Who like me can announce the future? Let me say so and make a case before me since I have established an ancient people. Let these gods declare the coming things and what will take place do not let be startled or afraid have i not told you and declare it long ago you are my witnesses is there any god but me there is no other rock i do not know any all who make idols are nothing and what they treasure benefit no one their witnesses do not see or know anything, so they will be put to shame. Who makes a god or a cast or a metal imagine that benefits no one? Look, all its worshippers, you'll be put to shame, and the craftsmen are humans. They will all assemble and stand. They will be startled and be put to shame. The iron worker labors over the coal shapes, the idol with hammers, and the works it's with strong arm.
also he grows hungry and his strength fails he doesn't drink water and it will faint the woodworker stretches out a measuring line he outlines its stylus he me- he shapes its shingles outlines its compass he makes it according to human form like a beautiful person to dwell in a temple he cuts down setters for its use or he t- takes a compressed or an or- or- oak he lets it grow strong among the trees of the forest he plant a larger and the rain makes it grow a person can use it for fuel he makes some of it and warms themselves also he kinders a fire bakes bread and eats the roast and it's satisfied he warms himself and says, oh i am warm i see the blaze he makes a god or his idol with the rest of it he bows down to it and worships he prays to it save me from you are my god such people do not come to hand or cannot understand or he has shut their eyes so they cannot see their minds so that they cannot understand no one comes to his senses no one has the perception or insight to say i have burned half of it in the fire i also bake bread on its coals i roast meat and ate it should i make something detestable with the rest of it should i bow down to a block of wood he feeds on ashes he deceived the mind led him astray he cannot rescue himself or say isn't there a lie in their hand isaiah 44 6 through 20 i hope this is a blessing to you as it is for me see you on the next one bye